So I'm going to go ahead and close this window for just a moment. I'm going to back out here. I'm going to head over in the root of our project into local, so into this local base. I'm going to go into the MIDI base here. Now we'll see that we've got this table, right? So this table looks surprisingly similar if we open our device mapper back up to what's happening here in our device mappings, right? Launch control, launch control, launch control. In device, out device, our definition, right? So all these things are kind of, uh, these little drop downs are partially populated right here from this table. Let's go ahead and look in user devices. And we can see there's this thing template, all right? And here in template, we can see that there's this thing with launch control. Here's our sliders, here's our buttons. All right, so this little uh, base right here is actually what's holding on to all the information that we're gonna end up using. Now, if we look over here, this template is where all of this information comes from. You know, if you were to kind of want to know the nuts and bolts of what's happening, this thing exists over here um, as a just kind of like standard placeholder. When we hit this button, uh, right, when we create a new mapping, like we did, add device, we're going to end up creating another one of these bases in here. And then all of these tables get copied over. And if you're scratching your head, that's okay, um, because what this uh, is handy for is it means that we can actually just edit this table rather than having to edit this table over here. So it just depends on how you want to work, right? Like some people would rather work with this interface, some people would rather work with this big chunky table. Uh, you've kind of got your option in terms of how you want to tackle that problem. The other thing worth remembering is that if we want to, for example, hold on to that mapping from project to project, if we just externalize this talks, or excuse me, this base, right, we could do save component, and we might call this our MIDI mapping talks, right? If we save that, if we restart Touch Designer, you know, in a brand new project, uh, this won't matter if you save this project, right? If you save this whole tow file and then restart it, this, of course, the contents of your local uh, base are preserved. But if you wanted a, a way to kind of build out a MIDI map and then just drop it into a brand new project, what you would do is you would save this base, and then you could just go ahead and uh, point the external talks to the talks that you'd saved out from here. So that'd be another way to kind of hold on to some work that you've already done.